The rotifor system contains a number of components. The chassis, which supports and rotates the focusing chamber during the run. The harvesting apparatus, which works with the house vacuum to collect fractions into test tubes once separation is complete. And a main assembly, which consists of the focusing chamber and two electrode chambers, all of which are assembled around a central ceramic cooling finger. The rotifor system provides two different but interchangeable focusing chambers. The standard chamber, which holds 35 to 60 milliliters of sample, and the mini focusing chamber, which has a smaller internal diameter to hold 18 milliliters of sample. A membrane core fits inside each focusing chamber to separate it into 20 fractions or compartments. There are two electrode chambers, the anode and the cathode. These chambers hold the electrolyte solutions and provide electrical contact between the focusing chamber and the power supply. Within each electrode chamber is an ion exchange membrane that is held in place by two gray gaskets. The anode and cathode electrode chambers hold electrolyte solutions and provide electrical contact between the focusing chamber and power supply. The anode chamber is marked by a red button and the cathode chamber is marked by a black button and contains a plastic gear that engages the drive motor on the chassis to rotate the focusing chamber during the run. The assembly procedure is identical for both the standard and mini rotifor. First, the anode chamber is placed onto the cooling finger, followed by the focusing chamber, and the cathode chamber is added last. The cooling finger is then attached to a recirculating water chiller.